Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for another Jurassic World Evolution 2 mod showcase video. Yes, I didn't bet you guys didn't think I'd be doing another one of these again, but I'm back after like, what, 10 years? <laughs> and yes, I have some lovely beauties to go through. Well, one in particular, which is going to be the main theme of this showcase, as I'm sure you can tell by the thumbnail. And it is this bad boy, but it's not the Iguanodon. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Shantungosaurus, a dinosaur king one, of course. And it has and it has the iguanodon, right? So it can actually fight. Because a shant that doesn't fight is well lame, let's be honest. So yeah, eventually this will be a new species whenever I get round to it. <laughs> I'm reluctant to do new species though, because the DLCs keep the Frontier keep releasing DLCs which keep breaking new species. And doing new species, especially in this game, is very time-consuming. So I'm holding off doing new species for now, but I will do new species in the future when, like, DLCs and that slow down or stop completely, which hopefully will be... Well, hopefully not hopefully, because you don't want the game to die, but... Which will probably be this year. And apparently there's a new DLC coming out in about a few weeks or so, so... Yeah, making the most of it, making the most of my mods working for now until they get broken again, but... I have actually figured out how to update them properly, so sh we shouldn't have to wait that long. But yeah, back to uh, back to it. Yes, we have Shantungosaurus. I probably have others that I need to showcase as well. <laughs> You'll see them soon because I have another video planned. <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be a good one. Right, let's see how this Shantungosaurus fares against the competition. So we'll make it nice and easy for it first. Let's see how it handles a Metriocamphosaurus. Uh, just one, of course. A base metric Amphosaurus. Hmm. You might need an actual model tweak. Your lower jaw seems a bit off. Yes. Metric Amphosaurus returning. Right, this is the boring part now, where I basically have to fast forward like 50 times to get these two to fight. Oh, I think we got our first encounter. Oh, look at the shant. Look how big it is compared to the Met. Ooh, he d d does he even want to fight it? I don't even think he wants to fight it. No, he's just roaring at it. Well, you're certainly a disappointment, aren't you, Mr. Met? Right, let's release something else. Okay, we'll chuck in the Tajongosaurus. And we shall chuck in Ankylosaurus. And let's see how, how the uh, Shant does against these two. Yeah, this one got a slight tweak, actually. Mainly because they changed how the uh, variant skins work. So I'll show real. I'll showcase real quick. So say, uh, oh, oh, it's right in front of me. Okay, so yeah, say for example, yeah, you have the two, 2015 variant, which is the one model I use for Tajongosaurus, and then we have the default Kentro, which is tiny, and you can have like different patterns now, and then obviously you have the one for PS, and you have all the other normal ones. All right, I also chucked in an Ankylosaurus as well. You know, the big pussy of the Earth dinosaurs, because it sucked in the last but in the last session, didn't it? And for lol's sake, we'll chuck in a Megalosaurus as well. Oh, a very bugged Megalosaurus. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know why this happens, but on some of my models, on when I've updated for some reason the whatever it is i don't know whether it's the tools or the blender or whatever seem to just take out chunks of my dinosaur not very good and even though this this happened to Euoplocephalus as well when i was editing that thing and this has happened to the megalosaurus twice and i'm not sure why i think it might be a bug with cobra tools all right well you're defective so you're gonna have to go i'm afraid we can't have you we'll have to release something else Ah, chuck in the Deinonychus, gang. Why not? And this time, there's only four of the buggers. Actually, with body variants being a thing, I think I, I probably can do, like, the other two Deinonychus and not just have the Alpha Deinonychus. 
Okay, replacing the Megalosaurus. We have got the Ceratosaurus. Oh no, it's going to be this one. Oh, look at that. All four of them are going for it. Oh, look at that. We're getting right in there. <laughs> yeah, it's because when I edited the uh, shant, I had to make it a lot bigger than the Iguanodon. Oh, a back kick there. Boosh. Can they take this big beast down? I think they're going to. Oh, it's not looking good for the Shan. Boosh! Back kick there. In the... Oh, that one got deflected. Oh, look, I think the Shan's just given up. Ooh, it's not looking good, but can he, can he kill the Dunlop? Look at them! Getting right in there! Oh, they killed that. Oh, that was brutal, wasn't it? Ah, oh, bless it. <laughs> oh, just one of them took damage. Okay, four Deinonychus might be a bit too powerful. All right, we I think we need a top prep. We need an Apex. Let's see how they'll fit against this. Yes, the Sorofagonax making its return. Will one day be a new species? But for now, has to use the acro bot. Has to be an acro. Isn't that right, buddy? Yes. Ooh, hello. We got round two between the Deinonychus and the Shanks. And it looks like... Which, how, how powerful are you? Oh, you're a really good one. Oh, you're the super one. Okay, surely you can win. Well, he's doing damage to him. Yeah, this shant is a lot more powerful than the last one. It's gonna die, isn't it? Oh, this Danolicus has given up, apparently. Oh, they've given up. Oh, he fought them off. Way to go, buddy. You did it. Oh, hang on. Nope, they take <laughs> the Danolicus are going after the Ankylosaurus instead. <laughs> Poor thing. Just had a fight with a with a sh sh bloody Kentrosaurus and. Why? Wh why'd you kill him for? No, you don't get a meal. You bugger. Ah, this is what we want to see. Metric Antosaurus getting dwarfed by the Shant, and I think the Shant is probably going to kill it. Ooh, we need to go into Captain Mode for this. They're ah! hugging the Metric Antosaurus. Down she goes. Ooh, this shant is not to be trifled with. How quick and painful for the met. And finally a shantungasaurus gets a kill. How good are you? Oh, you're a pretty strong one too. Yeah, I gave them all like the like, buffed up stats so they'll put up a fight against stuff like this guy. Ooh, the Sorofagonax eyeing him up there. Coming over. You don't want to mess with this beast. It gets stomp on your face. And you've already been fighting. Because you killed the Ceratosaurus. Alright, what well, died over here? Oh, the waste of space Ankylosaurus died. Okay, I think this is it. Oh, look at that. The Sorofagonax eyeing up the shant there. Oh, I'll make a good thumbnail if this stupid tree wasn't in the way. Alright, I'll only screenshot that. Ah, oh, yes, I can press spacebar, can't I? Um, oh, Sorofagonax getting the first hit in there. But this shant will not be don't will not be stifled that easy. Come on, Shant Ungasaurus, you could do it. Uh, it's probably gonna die. I think Sorofagonax is proving a bit too strong for this one. But I'll tell you what, he's growing up a fight. It'll give him credit for that. And yeah, there he goes. I think the Sorofagonax definitely won that one. Oh, and it's got internal bleeding, so it's dead. Oh, hello. We got another fight between Iguanodon and the Deinonychus. Round three. Oh, no, look at that one getting yeeted. Wait, is it dead? Oh, I think he killed it. And <laughs> he kicked that one to death. And that one's given up, I think. Wait, no, is it dead? Oh, my God, he killed all of them. He killed all the Deinonychus. Yeah, oh, this one's the beast. This one's a beast. Well, apparently he's only got one kill, even though it killed three dinosaurs. 
That's interesting. So, like, when dinosaurs pack hunt, if you defeat the pack, it only counts as one kill and not three. Ooh, so, uh, look, there's sort of Faganax coming over here. He's, like, inspecting the damage. Nope, nope, he just wants to Deinonic us. Ah, oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. I don't think so. <laughs> you got to earn your kills by fighting the Shanks. You know what? I think he might need a little bit of help. So let's chuck in another Apex. Hang on, the yoke got area. We've got to pause your moment because the Sorofagnax is going to fight. Oh, look at that. Um. Ooh, the Fagnax gets the first hit again. Ooh, the Shant coming in with a tick with a jab. <laughs> I'm hoping I can get all the, had the grass dinosaurs I make to have the Iguanodon animation. Especially since they added, like, the smaller variant as well. So like smaller grass dinosaurs, like, I don't know, Lanzusaurus. I could use the smaller Guanodon. Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely no match for this beast. Oh, that one's got internal bleeding as well. <laughs> this one likes to hit him where it counts, doesn't it? Oh, oh, he's going after the Sorofag. No, oh, don't go after him. Go after the Shanks. So yeah, uh, we've been interrupted by a little fight, but yes, we got Eocarcaria making a return from like ages ago. <laughs> and hopefully it'll be the last time I need to edit them all up, uh, fully start them all from scratch. And I tell you what, for the sake of it, let's release a T-Rex as well. Alright, T-Rex is in the arena, and, oh, 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 of, co of course you kill it, of course you kill it after I trank it. You arse. Well, you know what you don't get? A meal. <laughs> That's what you don't get. Oh, look, look, look at the arrogance of this Eocark here. He just doesn't care about shanks. He's like, yeah, I'm going to drink right next to this shant. Oh, ooh, maybe, ooh, a bit of intimidation, I think, maybe? Might be a bit of intimidation there. Shantungasaurus, like, pushing him away. He's like, this is <laughs> Oh, oh, no, they're squaring off. God, Shant, you can do it. Show this Eocarcario's boss. Oh, nope, nope, Eocarcario got the first hit. Badoosh! Yeah, the problem with Iguanodon in this game is that it's very weak. Even though it can now fight back against, like, the Apex Predators in this game, it still gets his butt kicked. And what have you got? You're dying, and yeah, you didn't really take much damage. Oh, uh, uh, this champ has really been in the wars. It's on full HP. Well, not anymore, but it's got two scars to its name. So it's definitely not afraid to take on these big Predators. Or oh, maybe the big predators just like attacking this one instead. Oh, so Fagnax got a bit of a mark there in the face. Oh, I think that's gonna be it. Another win for Soro Fagnax, and it's got a minor fracture. Oh, hang on. What's happening over here? Ooh. Oh, nope, nope. You got Kira getting the first hit. Because of course he gets the first hit. Come on, put up more of a fight, man. You're a shan. And yeah, he's panicking. <laughs> Even though I buffed them up, they're still not able to put up much of a fight against these large apexes. Alright, let's see how the T-Rex does, and it's probably going to win because it's a freaking T-Rex, and it should win, let's be honest. Um... Oh, he's putting out the fight, though. Ooh, quite cl Ooh, and he injured it. 
Interesting. So, I even though the T-Rex won it on health, I think the fact that it has a minor fracture... Hmm, interesting. And the Sorofagonax is not looking good. So, they are getting worn down, these carnivores. Right, we need some reinforcements. Bring in the... Send in the rest. More shant to the, add to the shant army. Oh, and it's snowing. Oh, there's snow. Oh, no, don't fight each other. In the cold, in the snow. Actually, we're missing Crowlophosaurus. Well, we can't have snow without having Crowlophosauruses, can we? <laughs> yeah, this is slightly work in progress, because the old, the original model I had before got broken and corrupted, so I have to, so I have to start again. I mean, the texture's fine, it's just the model needs updating. Need to add, do the spikes on the back, edit the crest and such. But yeah, you know, a little bit of fun. Ooh, here we go. Oh, I gutted it! The Sorofagonax got gutted like a fish. Because that's how a shant would kill a Sorofagonax. Oh, that was awesome. I'm glad I caught that. And the Sorofagonax finally goes down. And the shants finally get a win over an Apex. Oh, that's what I'd like to see. Oh, look, look, oh, look, he came. Oh, look, the Crowlophosaurus is doing a, uh... Doing a blizzard smash on the Sorofagonax there. Covering it with snow. <laughs> I tell you what, if we leave it there, the fossilizer would be very well preserved. But, nope, we got to dispose of the dead body. Marching their way through the treacherous conditions of ice and snow. Caused by this pain in the ass, Crowlophosaurus. Oh, poor thing, it's down zero chance. Um, I, that's, this is not a good idea, pal. Like, look, look at it. Wait, what? He got the first bite? Wait, wait, little bugger, he just bit him and ran. Oh, that was interesting. Wait, hang on a minute, is this T-Rex dead? Oh, oh, the Deinonic has died. And the T-Rex has laceration, which means it's probably going to die. And it's all thanks to the crowd. The crowd built, only bit him once. What, did he give him a frostbite? That is Eocarcaria. Iron up another kill on... Iron up another Shant. Got a Shant Ungosaurus. I mean, they wore the Sorofagonax down. And kill, I managed to kill it. So I think in time, these Shants can kill these Apexes. They might lose a few ranks, but you know... Gotta sacrifice for the greater good. There's more of them than there are of this guy. Um, apparently the T-Rex starved to death because it just didn't want to fight. Oh, how's that? He went down like a lead balloon, didn't he? Nope, oh, nope, oh, another shant concuss for the Eocarc area. I mean, I didn't give you any buffs or anything, but you're just, like, base stronger than Iguanodon in this game, which kind of sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, well, let's, I think we're going to end this session here. I think in time, these shants could kill the, uh, Eocarc area, but I'm not going to wait that long. And, oh, here we go. Crawlophosaurus trying, testing his luck against the shants. Well, let's, uh, actually, let's see how it fares. I mean, it, it was able to kill, like, basically kill the T-Rex with one bite. Oh, oh, he gets a bite. Oh, jab! <laughs> Look at it, it's so tiny, the shank could step on it. Oh, he gets a cheeky little kiss. Oh, he broke his claw, apparently. 32%. Yeah. Oh, look at that, intimidating the crown off source and scaring it off. Alright, yeah, so I'm going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and until then, ta-ta!